Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. You take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> All right, let's go. Have fun, boys. Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> Apparently, I'm becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol, over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. Anyway, you say it. Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. up here. So, the wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. And it'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of them. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. Up. Nice shooting back there. 
How's drug playing? Comes naturally. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Well, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge, get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. Yeah. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. you worried about me? There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. That's uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Oh, 
Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Here, assholes. Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Let's go. Quiet. Think. The hole's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. Bonjour, monsieur. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. What's this, then? 
doctors. across five states seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your it's sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but the whole thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess, compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? 
She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children. Dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Boy, you're okay, boy. So, this Colonel Faber, he you knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. And I think my... Pr this might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well... Just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the vaccine. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here.
Easy. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. Think that's the wagon? All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise.
Captain Monroe? I've got the medicine. Ah, oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> 